Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can move uh, a hard drive with the Windows XP installed from one computer to a completely different computer. Uh, sometimes it actually works by itself. You just move the hard drive, start the computer and Windows XP starts up and installs the drivers uh, without any issues. But sometimes you get uh, into a continuous boot loop uh, or a blue screen. Well, uh, I found out that this happens because uh, the driver that first uh, has to be installed is the SATA controller driver. And uh, you already have a completely different uh, driver installed. So that one cannot communicate with the controller on this motherboard and it gives us uh, problems. So basically at this point uh, you can do two things. You move the hard drive back into the old computer and from device manager you set the driver to the default one or you write uh, Hyrens bot CD onto a CD or DVD boot from it and it has a, re a registry uh, modification that it can do which uh, will uh, set on your Windows XP install the standard uh, SATA driver so then your computer should be able to start and install the rest of the drivers by itself and this is what I'm going to do now because I don't want to put the hard drive back into the old PC So, uh, yeah, let me just show you what uh, what's happening in my case. It actually tries to start. And it just resets. And it does the same thing even if we try safe mode, so that is not helping. So at this point I'm resetting it. I will press F12 so I can boot from the CD. Mini Windows XP. This will take a little bit of time, but not very, very much. If I had known this a few years ago, uh, it would have saved me a lot of Windows installs. But uh, yeah, better late than never. I will just go into my computer. Okay, my hard drive is C, the one that I want to fix the install on. Click on this. Registry. Fix hard disk controller. And basically now you have to set the target root so it knows where to fix the problem. And it's exactly what I'm writing. Ok, I've set that, now it knows where to fix the registry and you uh, press M to update mass storage drivers and it is done. Now I will just restart. So this should fix the reboot loop or uh, blue screen in some cases on some PCs. 
start windows normally and now it should boot up uh, just fine and start installing all the other drivers for things that are different in this computer uh, versus the original one from which the hard drive uh, is taken and we are already past uh, the point where it was rebooting and now probably it's just trying to figure out uh, what happened to all the devices uh, it had uh, already drivers for so this probably will take a very very long time to boot if it's not uh, stuck already it might be stuck if it is stuck uh, I will try and go into the safe mode start it like that remove all the drivers that are not no longer needed and then start uh, normally again so yeah I will stop the video for a second and see what needs to be done but in your case this might be unnecessary and it uh, should start uh, right up Probably the difference between these two computers is way, way too big. Okay, just boot it into safe mode. And of course it's finding... Uh, uh, I'm not going to install the driver now. It's finding all the different uh, <laughs> devices, a ton of them. Just take a look in a moment. It has already installed some devices. So you can clearly see here, I need some uh, <laughs> some drivers, but let's check this, they are installed, the new ones. So basically at this point uh, I should be able to start Windows normally and install these drivers uh, without uh, safe mode. If uh, I am unable to do that again. I will come back to safe mode, install these drivers and just then uh, go into the uh, normal mode in XP. So I will stop the video for a moment, give it a restart and see how it goes. Ok, we just uh, started into normal Windows mode without any issues. Probably it will ask for the drivers again, like it did in safe mode. And this is about it. You have all your programs installed, everything should be running perfectly now. You maybe even get lucky and uh, not need to go into safe mode like I needed. That really depends on, on the systems, it's not uh, something 100% sure. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you find this useful and see you in the next video. Bye!